you guys. My name is John and um, today I'm going to talk a little bit more about my NS Reg Plus. I've been riding this bike now for a couple of years. It's an awesome bike. I have a review about my first impressions of it over the course of the last year and a half or so of riding. Uh, I do have one complaint with the bike and this mainly boils down to my style of riding, not necessarily what everyone else would call a complaint. So I'm going to be putting these salsa cow chippers. I think I'm competing with kids here. Kids and crows and cars. Hey, hey bud. I'm doing a little film here on the bike. So these handlebars are a little bit wider than the ones that come on the NS. These are 46 versus the 44. Um, 46 centimeters from here to here on the, on the hood or on the top. And on the drops, they're 59 and a half centimeters. And I'm hoping that this gives me a little bit more control and comfort for the times that I do something sketchy during my ride. And I almost always do at least one sketchy thing, whether it's a, a street obstacle like bunny hopping a ledge or taking a little bit of trail on the way to work. So I'm hoping this will help with comfort and control as far as that goes and that my wrists won't hit the hit the top anymore especially with the bunny hops that's the main thing here's a view of these zip service course handlebars from my perspective as a rider and you can see how it's really nice if you just you can just rest your hand on these flat bars like this you don't always have to be in the grip position but you can also see how the drops are a little bit deeper than the cow chippers and how if you go to bunny hop and you pull up, you often find yourself hitting your wrist right there. Uh, just for comparison's sake, I'm going to grab these cow chippers and put them over the top. A flared 46 centimeter and a minimally flared 44. You can see how there's no total clearance of the wrist here. There you go. It's quite a bit wider. Looks like the, the, the bend in the handlebar is pretty similar position. But then it goes out wider from there. So the flare kind of starts even on the, on the hood slightly. All right. On these new bars, I'm going to be putting on Zip Service Course Cyclocross Bar Tape. And it looks to be a little bit more of a rubber compound. Uh, not, not so much of a cork. We'll see if I like it. All right, I got the handlebars off, and here's the more direct comparison of the two. You can see that the cow chippers have a slightly shallower drop there. And this is these are the zip service course. These are the cow chippers. So fairly significant difference. Totally different handlebar, different purpose. Comfort, long distance, more aggressive riding. So we'll go this way. Looks nice, nice and wide. Just a little my perspective view there. Ooh, almost tipped it over. There we go. We'll see how it rides off uh, the little ramp here. That's my kids' ramp, and it's kind of fun to ride on the gravel bike too. So, all right. I like it, I like the width. Let's give this a try. There you have it, salsa cow chippers, I think were exactly what this NS Reg Plus from 2018 needed. It's definitely gonna make the commute just that much more fun because if I see something awesome, 
I can just go do it, but yet I'm not bogged down by a more jump specific or mountain bike specific bike. So for the rest of the ride, it's still enjoyable for the long, you know, 10 other miles of that ride. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and little flared bar. I think the new NS Reg Pluses have flare on their handlebars. So they probably figured out already that that was needed to make this the a, a real nice bike, all around bike.